quick update before the review. We actually want to start owner's review, reviewing your own car on our channel. So we actually need your help. And we want to make this global tour, but why don't we start from Korea first. I'll leave my email below here, so let me know a little bit about your car and also let me know your contact number if you're interested. Okay guys, now let's get back to the review. Hello, welcome to Asian Petrol. Welcome to our fifth owner's review. The owner only lives about five minutes away from our office, so let's meet him right now. And before we begin, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Now let's go meet our owner. <laughs> Hello, Emmanuel. Hello. Good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Thank you so much yeah. for taking your time and reaching out to us. You're welcome. Would you like to uh, say hello to our audience, please? Yeah, sure. So, my name is Emmanuel. I'm living in Korea for about two years now, mm. and my main occupation here was a tour guide, but unfortunately now with this virus, ah. I can't show the country <laughs> to foreigners anymore. Mm. So I'm doing uh, yeah, other stuff on the on the web for the mm. moment. But I hope I can go back to my first business soon. Yes, you know, uh, you know everybody's having very difficult time during this uh, mm. crisis, and yeah. hopefully everything won't be back to normal again. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, also, uh, can you also tell us a little bit about your car, please? Yeah, sure. So, as you can see, it's a Kia Niro from mm. 2017. Mm. Of course, it's a hybrid uh, front-wheel powertrain. Mm -hmm. What else about the car? It's in very nice Still looks nice like place. a new car. Yeah, it's like a new... Uh, Inside it's a, out. It's a second-hand car, actually. I bought it online from an uh -huh. online website in wow. Korea. And um, it looks very good. Yeah, mm. I'm happy. It almost like a new one. It is. Yeah, I'm very surprised. And yeah. you take very good care of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything very is nice. in good condition. Yeah. Okay. So mm. we're gonna see how she drives throughout the yeah. day. Okay. So sure. we drive uh, toward Paji where we usually shoot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> So Emmanuel, um, just like you said, this is hybrid model, mm -hmm, which means right. you have an electric motor mm -hmm. and a battery inside. Yeah, that's right. Actually, it's located below where Risk. producer Kim is sitting yeah. under his butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're buying this car, yeah. didn't uh, reliability come to your mind? Yeah, of course, but I'm not worried because Kia um, uh, in Korea, I mm. think in the world in general, give 10 years warranty mm -hmm. for mm. the electric component. Mm. So I was not worried about buying this car, even if it's a second-hand car. So you still have, what, like six, seven years left? Uh, seven years left. Seven years left. Yeah. Okay. So. And so, yeah, I guess I'll, buy, I'll uh, sell the car before the end of the warranty, oh. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So right now it's saying uh, 35,000 kilometers. Um, anything broke yet or, you know, battery filling? No, no e like everything that? is in perfect condition. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. What about, it's, it's right now you left it on a liter per 100 kilometer. Yes. Uh, which is about 25 kilometers, kilometers per, per liter. liter. That's right. And I think that's awesome for that kind of car. That's what you're yeah. just getting regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's every what day. I get re every day. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So in theory, yeah. with about uh, only uh, f only about forty liter of gasoline, mm -hmm. you can drive up to thousand kilometers. Yeah, right? in theory, yes. Uh, oh my God, that's, that's right, really good. It's possible. And I checked out. Uh, yeah. You know, it's a lot better than the government rating. Yeah, government yeah. Government rating was like nineteen. Nineteen. Or yeah, right? I checked in the. <laughs> Just before, yeah. So you're doing mm -hmm. much, much better than the uh, what government says. Yeah, but uh, I think it's because the way I drive, I try to drive very smoothly. How do you drive? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> smoothly? <laughs> very smoothly. Wow. Yeah. So you live it in the eco mode? Eco mode. Eco yeah. mode? Yeah, I never use the sports I mode. Just drive smoothly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very nice. Mm. And you wow. know, when you drive inside the city, mm. you can use electric engine alone a lot. Right now, it's saying EV mode yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Let me just take a picture. Yeah. EV mode. So, 
just maximizing the use of EV mode will yes. actually get you more, um, you know, miles per gallon mm -hmm. or efficiency. Yep. But that's pretty good. I mean, I haven't seen, uh, you know, 25 kilometers per liter on the, my recent trip. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're doing very awesome mm. job. Very nice. Okay. And it's usually uh, better for this hybrid system. It's usually uh, it returns better fuel economy in city driving than yes. constantly highway yes, driving. Yes, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Because you get assist from the EV mode. Yeah, yeah. Wow. If you drive only on highways, yeah. sometimes you get assist from the EV mode, but most of the time yeah, you're just on the gasoline engine. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So Emmanuel, uh, let's do talk about exterior design yeah. for a second because mm -hmm. I don't think uh, Kia Niro is the most handsome looking car. Definitely um, not. So did you buy this car because of the looks? No. <laughs> so, yes, yeah. yeah. Definitely not, no. So what do you think about the exterior design of the car? Well, I guess it's okay. It's just mm. uh, like a normal car. Everything's uh, there. Everything's there, yeah, everything's <laughs> there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing is missing. Mm. But uh, yeah, it's of course, yeah, it's not a beautiful car. I didn't buy it for that. Yeah. Uh, mm. You buy it for the efficiency. And yes. The, but this car, you know, the one thing I really love about Kia mm. Niro's is how that, because the second row, yep. like you told about the uh, Ionix, the second yes. row is really crammed. Yes. And every other car mm -hmm. is right, the, uh, you know, free efficient cars. But this yep. one, this one, yeah. Mm, it's it's got quite spacey. Yeah? Mm. Decent uh, yeah, amount yeah. of. I think we can fit headroom. both on the back. Yeah. yeah. And look, look, um, Emmanuel, you said you're about mm -hmm. 190 centimeters. Yep. He's a, mm -hmm. I'm about like uh, 187 and mm -hmm. he's about three centimeters yeah. long, longer than me. And look, we yeah, have yeah, no a problem. good yeah. amount of headroom mm -hmm. and legs room uh, as well. Legroom as mm. well, so very nice. And um, how do you compare, if you compare this yeah. to uh, like a Toyota Prius, mm. how do you like it? Well, I prefer my car than Toyota Prius <laughs> because <laughs> I don't like Toyota design. Yeah. Mm. And like you mm. said, you, you like this yeah. car. Um, better than the Ionic as well. Yes, right? yeah, Be because of the real space. Mm, practicality. Yeah, practicality, yeah. Okay. And uh, Kia also rolled out the uh, face lift yep. model of mm -hmm. this Kia. Yes. Nero. Have you seen that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw uh, that, yeah, I can, in Seoul you can see right. a lot of them, yeah. How do you like those? Well, I think it's pretty much the same from side and yeah, they only change a little bit the front and the end. But subtle changes. Yeah, subtle changes, nothing big deal yeah I right. think we have to wait for the next generation oh, brand all new yeah brand all yeah. new right. yeah. uh, I mean even even the interior you know they updated yeah the infotainment screen a little mm -hmm. bit here and there but yeah overall looks pretty much the same mm. so to, I, yeah. I think you you know like I told you this car looks almost like a brand new car yeah. so I think mm. you got it with a good deal so I think you know this yeah. is a lot better deal yeah. for yeah, actually yeah. we were hesitating to buy a new one or a second hand mm. one, but yeah, since the difference are not that much, mm. we just yeah, save some money and All right. a second hand car. Right. Mm. Mm. Looks very nice. Um, so Emmanuel, let's also do talk about the uh, interior space. Um, like I told you, the battery is sitting below yeah. the second row seat. Mm -hmm. So how do you like the second row seats and uh, the boot? Um, the yeah. trunk space. Well, it's uh, very roomy, the second row seat. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, when I bought this car, I had in my mind, yeah, you know, to tour my customer. I think oh, I, for a city tour. Yeah, for a city tour, yeah, I need <laughs> some yeah, yeah. room in the, in the back seat. And of course, yeah, I don't know if you need to pick someone in the airport. Mm. I think it's good to have a yeah, large Brief trunk. Case, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And this car has both of them. So, Right, yeah, so this is good. this is almost like a crossover, so you can just almost. jam everything yeah. in the trunk. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I told you, the battery isn't under the trunk, yes. so mm -hmm. there's plenty of space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you don't lose any space because of the battery. Mm. Like mm. I said, uh, hopefully the co the virus will go yes. away, and uh, you'll be back Please. with. Uh, <laughs> you'll be very very busy uh, showing. I hope so. People, yeah, uh, around the Seoul mm. and uh, you know major yeah. sightseeing here mm -hmm. in Korea. So that'll be very nice. Okay, so uh, let's do talk about powertrain for a second. Yep. Uh, your Kia Niro has 1.6 liter GDI mm -hmm. gasoline engine, which gets help from 32 kilowatt electric motor. Yeah. 
So the total system output comes out to be about 141 horsepower. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, enough power for you? Oh yeah, really it's enough powerful for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always try to drive smoothly, so I don't really need, even I don't use all the powers of two engines mm -hmm. combined. Yeah, so yeah, I think it's very good for me. And uh, yeah, it's very smooth, you know? Mm. When you change from gasoline engine to electric engine. Oh, when it kicks back in. Yeah, yeah, the transition is very smooth. You, yeah, it's barely unnoticeable. Right now, EV yeah. mode, power came yeah, back. Yeah, that's a power, and then EV mode again. I, I, I cannot, it's really hard to notice. Yeah, it's really hard to notice, yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, very nice. And yeah. it seems to be on EV mode constantly. Um, you know, I drove uh, mm -hmm. Hyundai Sonata. Optima hybrid mm -hmm. and also new Sorento hybrid mm -hmm. and your Nero seems to be more on EV mode. Oh, it's yeah. just there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think... And right now we're driving yeah. on highway yeah. about 70 kilometers mm -hmm. per liter. I'm not a liter per hour. Yeah. And it just comes on and comes off. But yeah. I think the efficiency just got better. Saying yeah, 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 now it's, it's getting better <laughs> <laughs> because of you. <laughs> wow. That does not happen yeah. often, but wow, mm. this is very, very efficient car. Mm. I'm really surprised. Yeah, but if you push it a little bit, you will uh -huh. see it goes well. Yeah, a bit. You can try. Yeah. Oh, it just says power. Yeah. Okay. I'm using lots of fuel, but it, it is okay. It's, it's you know, it's not sports no, car. No, no, no. But you can put it in sports mode. It's better responsive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, camera. So. Ah, so it yeah, yeah. also <laughs> tells you, you also we also have uh, this camera system, mm -hmm. detection system. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, it's good. Let me just play yeah, it and up. even the cruise control, it goes down. If oh, you, you know, it's not that bad, huh? Wow, yeah. when you really put in a sport <laughs> mode, it's yeah. Wow. See, now we're back to four liter per. Yeah, okay, so I'll stop now. <laughs> okay, yeah. don't want to mess it up. And mm. uh, but really, when mm. you do. When you uh, put the gear selector yeah. to the left, it automatically mm -hmm. goes into the sport mode yeah. and really changes the, mm. the behavior of the yeah. car. Mm -hmm. The engine becomes louder, yeah. becomes noticeable. It used mm -hmm. to be like EV, not yeah. noticeable, but mm -hmm. becomes quite noticeable and just gives you a much better push. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I, I can see myself driving this car comfortably. Um, you know, enjoying the efficiency and also mm -hmm. time to time, put it yeah. into, mm -hmm. probably many times for me, but put it into sport <laughs> mode and mm -hmm. just drive. This, yeah. this is a very nice car. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we also have a six-speed uh, dual clutch yes. transmission mm -hmm. made it to. Um, That's right. I really wanted to ask you this question mm -hmm. because it's made it to dual clutch transmission, yes. DCT. Uh -huh. um, in city driving, mm -hmm. you know, in congested yeah. area, mm -hmm. does it, is it jerky? No, it isn't because most of the time when you just drive in the city, uh -huh. the car only use the uh, EV mode. Ah. Yeah. So it's still smooth. Yeah. Sometimes between ah. the third and fourth gear, yeah. it's a little bit strange because the car doesn't know if he must stay in the third gear or go oh, on the fourth. But although, yeah, except of that, it's very smooth. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess the electric motor just fixed that problem because yes. DCT is really tends to be yeah, yeah, yeah. jerky. I, I had one in Belgium, in Honda, <laughs> Honda DCT. Honda. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But it's uh -huh. it's nice combination. They just fixed that problem with mm -hmm. the uh, electric motor. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, very nice. And uh, look, we also have our paddle shifters. Yeah. So. It's not a sports car, but it's not a sports car, yeah. but it's it's a lot better than mm -hmm. what I expected yes. from a mm. hybrid car. Yeah. So it's just really really interesting is when you do really put it into sports mode, it really mm -hmm. changes the yes. behavior of the mm -hmm. car. I mean, in EV eco mode, it's it's really like boring and economical feeling. Yes. Uh -huh. It just goes into the EV mode mm -hmm. constantly, but wow, when you put it into sports mode, it's really mm. something nice. I think you should really uh, be uh, enjoying your car train. I, I think it's a really good, solid <laughs> system. Yeah. Still, I mean, this is this is uh, you know been out here for quite a long time mm -hmm. since 2016. So yep. it's still a very nice car. Wow. I'm surprised.
So, Emmanuel, would you consider yourself buying another gasoline-powered car? No, never again. Never again. So, no, sure. pretty sold on the hybrid. Yeah, I like car. the hybrid feeling driving. Yeah, and maybe next car would be in the full EV. Car. Full EV mode. Yeah. yeah. Like a like a Soul or you also have a full electric car in the right. Hero, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah, there was a full one. But uh, yeah, the problem is in Korea. Many of the electricity are made by uh, coal plant, which so, isn't so. Yeah, so if you charge, yeah, if you charge your car <laughs> with the coal plant electricity, it doesn't yeah. make yeah. any sense. Any sense? So maybe I'd rather buy a hydrogen car. Something like a Nexo or a Toyota Mira? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh, but less expensive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you yeah. know, hopefully yeah, the I time will so, go uh, and uh, the price make, will go down. Yeah, go yeah. Down. Uh, mm. that'll be nice. But yeah, Nexo, I think it's a good car. Yeah. And I, I think uh, for for a current situation, I think that they need to uh, bump up the number of charging stations yeah, for the Nexo definitely. as well. Mm -hmm. so. So if you let a bit, wait a little bit, the price will go down yeah. and the charging station will go, come sure. up. In a few uh, years, I think yeah. it will become affordable. Mm. Yeah. It's very nice, yeah. So you're pretty pretty much sold on the uh, the hybrid system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at you. You're yeah. growing the trees. The trees is almost green. Almost there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think it's possible to reach full green, but yeah. Almost. You're almost there. Yeah. Okay, so Emmanuel, let's do also talk about the interior. We also have analog gauges, and mm -hmm. uh, I think you have 4.2 inch screen and yes. one smaller one the to smaller the one. left. Yeah. Um, I don't know how the big size is. And uh, to the right, we also have 8 inch infotainment mm -hmm. screen. Yeah. How do you like this uh, two screen system? For me, it works. I think it's good. Well, I mean, it's the first car where I got infotainment system, mm -hmm. so I can't really compare with my former car. But mm. I think yeah, the screen is big enough. It's uh, yeah, you can see it very well. And uh, how about the uh, the navigation? The navigation system? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, I mean, it's a Korean car, so it's made for Korea. So it's quite detailed, and uh, it's yeah, it's very easy to use. Because especially a foreigner here in Korea, yeah. is, is it easy to uh, punch in the uh, destination and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, or? sure. If you can read and write a little bit Korean, there is there oh. any problem? Because yeah. you know how to read and write Korean. Yeah. You right. learned it here, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's no biggie. Yeah, yeah. that's oh. not a big deal for me. So. Mm. Yeah, and it's good exercise, you know. Mm. <laughs> right, so you can also... Yeah. Oh, yours don't do that. Okay, zoom in and out. But uh, mm. overall, the graphics just still look very nice. And um, okay, yeah. it also shows the hybrid system mm -hmm. working. Yeah, doing what you thing. also have some... Uh, Sound interior stuff. Wait, you know, like this. Oh, you have that too. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I I don't understand why they're putting this. Uh, you know, to make you fall asleep while you drive. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the point yeah, is, but yeah. I never to, used it. But I right. think I thought first time I saw that, I thought, oh, it's funny. But yeah. Oh. So I thought. This was on the first on the K7, but I guess not. It was uh, here already. But I had an update of the system in February. Ah, you yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, maybe they added at that time. Mm. Yeah. I got an update on my Palisade, and mm -hmm. they gave me this one too. Uh, yeah. Very nice. All right. And it also shows the uh, all the camera system. Yep. Very nice. So I was really curious about this. Uh, there's this uh, something called driver only. Yes, it shuts everything mm -hmm. off other than the driver's seat. Do you really yes. use it? Yes, in my if, if I am alone in the car all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just have to press the button and you, yeah, like this. It's, it's only good for it's me. It's only good for you, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, That's a really brilliant yeah. idea, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, to keep the car more efficient. Efficient, yeah. Because there's, if there is nobody else. Yes, right. it doesn't make any sense to cool all the car. Alone. Is there air vents? Oh, there's yes. also air vents yeah, yeah. for the second row mm -hmm. passengers. So, yeah. no, actually, yeah, I guess it shouldn't work. Oh yeah, it takes yeah. a little bit. It takes about five seconds, but yeah. it really, mm -hmm. it really cuts it off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice.
So Emmanuel, if there's anything, um, what would you want your Kia Niro to be improved upon? Is there anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, the first thing I wish there is a EV mode button. So mm. I can choose when I want to drive only EV mode. Right. So I could press this button yeah. and not uh, let the car decide for me. Yeah. I know, that's, that's what I think so too. I mean, EV mode comes on, off yes. constantly, constantly, but yeah. we cannot choose. Yes, so. that would be great. Anything else? Mm. Anything else? Um, oh, the lane keep assist. Yeah, lane keep about. assist. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't have any driving mm. aid mode. So yeah, so lane regular keep cruise control yes. and lane keep assist. But mm -hmm. those things are all on the uh, new models. Mm, so, that's right. Uh, yeah. What about you? Also mentioned about Uvo. Yeah, the Uvo system. Uh, yeah, it's not yet available for this car. Right. With yeah. the Uvo system, you can start the car. You yes. Know, uh -huh. You can have the smart key the, uh, system right. as well. Yeah. So I mean, Uvo system is also a newer model. So yeah. I mean, I hope uh, you know Kia will find a way to uh, introduce the mm. new technology, something yeah. like Uvo mm -hmm. and other things, so that uh, you know what yeah. we have. Um, mm -hmm. The current models will also enjoy those sort yeah. of uh, if they new could, technology. Uh, update the system. That'd it be would very, be nice. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, overall, I mean, you know, although this car doesn't have lane keep assist, but it's it's driving very nicely, straightforward, yes. yeah, and it yeah, yeah. uh, feels, you know, stress-free, mm. right? We're driving about 90 kilometers per hour mm. on a highway. And I'm noticing it's very, very quiet too. Yeah, it's quite calm. Yeah, yeah, it's quite well isolated. Yeah. Ah. yeah. So, do you go uh, long distance traveling with this car a lot? Not no. a lot, yeah. Sometimes on the because weekend, of the, yeah. Of the virus too. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes the weekend, yeah, we go to Paju or mm. south of Seoul, yeah, a little bit, usually in Gyeonggi-do, yeah. Mm. Mm. But this seems to be very comfortable. I mean, as a long distance, I uh, think I could, well. yeah, I, I think I could drive maybe eight hours right. without any problems. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Uh, I think it uh, will seats have are comfortable. No yeah. problem going, to, uh, you know, yeah. round trip with the Busan too. Yeah, to for sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think we will do when things will get better. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Fires, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. So, time flies when you're having fun. Um, this is our already last question. Um, do you have any car on your mind as next car? Well, as I said before, I think my next car will be an EV1. Mm -hmm. So, probably hydrogen car something like so Nexo. something like Hyundai Nexo mm -hmm. would be a great car for me mm -hmm. and I also like the design of the car mm. yeah, it's yeah ne quite Nexo unique looks, looks uh, very unique and uh, futuristic mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so why not in a few years maybe yeah mm -hmm. when you do get your Nexo uh, call us so uh, ah, sure we so we can do owners review another review yeah. all right <laughs> I will <laughs> all right mm. So Emmanuel, thank you so much for taking your time and uh, reaching out to us. I had mm. a great time. Yeah, uh, me too. Hope you enjoyed our sure, very appreciate it. review. It was and, funny. Uh, like I told you, mm. if you get your next next show, uh, please do call yeah, us definitely. so we can do this again. And mm -hmm. hopefully uh, the virus will go away soon yeah. and uh, you'll be back with the uh, showing yeah. a lot of uh, Korean tourist areas. I hope so. Too mm. many people coming to yeah. Korea. Okay, so. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, Emmanuel, we also have a good storage amount yeah, uh, that's below right. here. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, can you show us? Yeah? yeah, of course. So, there is everything to... Oh, tools, 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 fix a flat. Fix tire, and a What's that? special thing. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? It's a dry fish. Why? Yeah, it's a custom in Korea, you know? <laughs> to wish luck to the... Wish good luck to the car, you have to put a dry fish in Who your did car. that? Yeah, my mother-in-law, of oh, course. Okay. Yeah. So you put makoli on the tire? Yeah, yeah, everything. Ceremony. Yeah, ceremony. And then yeah. uh, dry and so, fish. So, no, I, I can't have any accident. I'm protected by the dry fish. Yeah, yeah. excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you also yeah. told us about the uh, exhaust. Yes. Yeah. So usually hidden type. Yeah, it's another. So I think the former owner yeah. had it because yeah, 
I never saw it on any other Kia Niro in Korea. Right. So uh, it's quite a unique feature. Yeah. I checked on the other side. He, yeah. he kind of, you know, welded mm. himself. Yeah, yeah. Added on. Mm -hmm. Looks quite nice like this. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So Kia, um, you know, actual exhaust tip would be nice. Also on a hybrid Kia yeah. Niro as well. Mm -hmm. So how's uh, doing owner's review? How that was it? It was funny. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. What are you saying? Good. I like to see the behind the scenes. You know? mm. <laughs> I'm always curious. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. Many people, that's why we also made that video about how we shoot yeah, the video. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. owner's reviews, something also different mm -hmm. because we get to have our audience uh, yes. really come to our show and mm -hmm. also you know, talk about their own car. Yeah. So, I really like it because there are some certain things that only owner can tell me. Because we mm. we get a press car for like yes. a two nights, three days. That's it. Ones, huh? Yeah. So we don't know what really satisfies mm -hmm. you as yeah. owner and uh -huh. what really bugs you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, like you said, uh, we hope to make this a global tour. Mm. Uh, if the, if the virus goes yeah. away. <laughs> I do it for sure, huh? It won't, it won't so. stay forever. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, you don't have paddle shift. No. Okay. So no. I, no, that mm -hmm. was my mistake. Okay. We can just skip that, okay? Um, Emmanuel, um, what was I going to say? Oh, the exterior. I forgot. <laughs> Two things lately. <laughs> because in Belgium, you know, we have three languages. Really? Three official languages. French, Dutch, and German. Oh, you also speak German too. Oh, because you say it's very close. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the eastern part of the country they speak German. In the northern part of the country they speak Dutch because it's close to Holland. And in the south part, where I come from, we speak French because it's near France. Yeah. Uh, so it's cool. We have to learn as well French, German or Dutch. You can choose and English as well. So when do you choose? Yeah. Like in, in elementary school, you choose. Elementary school, you have to learn. If you're French, you have to learn Dutch. And if you're Dutch, you have to learn French because ah. it's a two main languages. Dutch, uh, German, it's only a small part. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very, very smart. Uh, they didn't. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, all the kids, they know at least two languages. Yeah. Wow, that's good. Yeah. I mean, it was hard for me to just learn Korean too. I mean, so <laughs> that's very smart of you guys. Mm. Yeah, right? because, yeah, there is nothing now. And so you can choose when you want to use the EV mode or not. Mm. Because when you drive in the city, most of the time it's EV mode, but sometimes it goes to the gasoline engine without... Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I, I think oh. uh, the okay. camera got... Uh, uh, hold on. Let's pause a little bit. No. That's it. See? That was so easy, wasn't it? You're so good. <laughs> We can, uh, I guess we can uh, just, uh, maybe we can use something as a behind cut. Uh, yeah, yeah, go to the wind. Yeah. And, Is uh, it the place when you, when you film, you know, when you drive the car in the, it's a small mountain and the road goes like this. Yeah, You yeah. often go there. Yeah, we, yeah. It, but it's, it's actually further from here. It's oh, yeah. about uh, 20 minutes. Uh, mm. That, that corner is really extreme. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when I watched your video, I was always wondering why did he go to film, you know, those kind It's really, uh, it's really yeah. near the uh, end of Paju. Uh, ah, it's, yeah, close to North Korea. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's why there isn't any car. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we just go there. Uh, we yeah. like to come to Paju because, as you can see, there's not many cars here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. How's Belgium? Is it hot? or? <laughs> cold? It's, it's a rainy country. It's a rainy country. Not, not, not really cold. Not as cold as Korea. Of course, we have some snow in winter, uh -huh. but it's not that cold. But it's a very rainy country. It rains about 260 days a year. What? Yeah, 260 days a year. So there's less, rainy. less days uh, not raining. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So oh, yeah, wow. some people, if, if you're born there, it's okay, you're just accustomed. But if you come in from abroad and stay uh, a few years, many people, they feel depressed, you know? Because yeah, I bet you, you, you can't are. see the sun many times, yeah. <laughs> mm. So it'll be like this every day, almost the time, and it'll mm. be drizzling. More like, you know, yesterday it was very... Mm. Uh, or like that? Yeah, it's almost like that 
Yeah, most of the time. Most of the time. Oh god, I can't yeah. do that. <laughs> I'll be really depressed. Yeah, that's why at each holiday everybody just take a plane and go away <laughs> in the sun, usually in South of Europe or in, you know, in Mediterranean Sea mm. and stuff like this, just to see the sun. Yeah. Ah, mm. really? That's something I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a rainy country. You know, this is the, right to the yeah. right side. That's uh, mm. cathedral. That's where we, we usually do. Ah, yeah, that's right. That's the cathedral. Yeah. And go left. Uh, that's where we shoot uh, usually. Um. We also have Korean sites. Uh, yeah. But this uh, this English site seems to be mm -hmm. growing faster than. Yeah. <laughs> that's good for you. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Have, uh, but I think yeah, people yeah, these days Korean cars they are getting better and better. Yeah. So people are more interested. And yeah, yeah. Since it goes, it goes out first in Korea. Mm. Yeah, people are eager to get information. Right. So it's good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We usually uh, when they release the car, yeah. we show them the first look and mm -hmm. the first drive, and yeah. then it usually takes them about six months mm -hmm. before up to like a year yeah. before they. Car get the aboard. car yeah. to the shore, so uh -huh. that's a really big advantage for us. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Ah, this is parking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this mm. is the place. Okay. Yeah. And it's funny thing, that's a, actually a cemetery. Mm. Nobody knows. So it's quiet. So it's quiet. Yeah. No one's here. Mm -hmm. And one time I was here for the night drive and uh, yeah. it was quite scary. Uh, yeah, I saw a video when you did a night, yeah. night drive with, with, uh, with a Porsche Cayenne. Yeah. Uh, and it's not for this one, it was the one where you want to show people all the automatic lights. Oh and... yeah, yeah, that was close here too. Yeah. That was also scary too. <laughs> I don't remember which car was it, but yeah.